Thanks to St. Teresa of Avila, we have a second map of the interior life. It's known as the Seven Mansions. Now, Teresa describes progress, spiritual progress, as a journey into an interior castle. Not surprisingly, the first stage is known as the First Mansions, and the goal for all of us, the Transforming Union, is attained once you're deep into the Seventh Mansions. One of the other great things about Teresa is that she describes each of these stages in great detail, so you can count on future clips uh, about that whole matter. Now, just knowing about the seven mansions and the three ways is a real encouragement to spiritual growth, but it's even more helpful when you understand how the two models correspond to each other. So let's look at that, and we want to thank Ralph Martin for his insight into this connection. The first thing to note is that the purgative way of beginners corresponds to the first, second, and third mansions of Teresa's model. So we can see that we can be beginners for a long time, and that can be humbling to discover, but humility is a very good thing in the spiritual life, so let's not be discouraged. The fourth mansions is a transitional stage from the purgative way into the illuminative way of the proficient. And that transition is also known as the Dark Night. So this is where we encounter St. John of the Cross's teaching on the Dark Night. You bet we'll need a few clips just on that topic. You'll also have to go through the first Dark Night yourself. Everyone does. The first Dark Night of Senses is essential for this purification for us to move into the second stage of the Illuminative Way. Mansions 5 is obviously in the illuminative way and develops into the sixth mansions, which is a second transitional stage into the unitive way. Now that's an even deeper and more painful purification known as the dark night of the spirit. The first is the dark night of the senses. So prayer and purification is what it's all about, right? All sustained by the grace of God, of course, but eventually you'll attain the seventh mansions. That's the goal. That's God's plan and desire for you. Ultimately, you'll be drawn into the transforming union. At that point, you're holy. So you see, the interior journey, pursuing holiness and union with God is a win-win scenario. You'll not only be progressing towards the fulfillment of the two great commandments, but also you'll be fulfilling your life's purpose, your heart's deepest desire and your eternal destiny. What more could you ask for out of life? Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.